Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cools, and we're back once again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be reacting to a group of women mock young man for not having money, but he's a millionaire. I don't know about I know this is Clicks, a Fortnite player, a streamer. I can't, I don't know if he still streams Fortnite and stuff, but I used to watch him back in the day. But you guys know how we do it. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna ask you something. Just because I don't have fifteen hundred dollars, you wouldn't even talk to me. It's a cold world. Nah, you just said you don't, we don't have enough money to we don't have enough money to buy a section. I'm just saying, that's the starting Damn. Damn. With the way we, with the way we look, we get it for free too. Y'all get it free, right? We get it for free too. She just said we're broke as we don't have fifteen hundred dollars. Come on, let me tell. I know, bro. Sad. You should probably show him what's up. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? You, you said hundred dollars for the yeah. sharpies? Hundred, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, double it. Matter of fact, <laughs> triple it. Yeah, give him four hundred. Oh shit. You know, if these girls want to be Miami gold diggers, they got to start doing their research and not judge a book by its cover. Right, it like turns out this clicks. guy's a streamer called Clicks and he's yeah. worth millions of dollars. Probably worth way more than their absent fathers. Back, back. Wait, 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 what do you say? Because they got to start doing their research and not judge a book by its cover. Because it turns out this guy's a streamer called Clicks and he's worth millions of dollars. Probably worth way more than their absent fathers. Nah, we just, we just, let's just pretend we didn't, we didn't, we didn't that shit. Ain't no way this man said that. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, this video was made by Eriko TV. You guys should definitely check him out. He's hilarious and he says stuff like that. Yeah. Do you prefer chivalry or do you prefer equality? Equality. What about you? I'm gonna agree. What that's, about yourself? That's why equality. Is dead. Okay. So you said you're in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Who paid for the first date? Who paid for him? Yeah. Who paid for the second date? It's been a while. But what you think? Probably him. Interesting. Who paid for the third date? If you got to think. Probably Dude, not him. Okay, that's not equality. You've used my logic against me. How long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Mm. And be honest. Like six months. Six months? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's not equality. What about you, Gigi? I've done that before, so... But yeah, you so broke I would up say with like, the dude. Well, yeah. So I would say maybe like three months, honestly. Three months. And what about you? i say a year. Huh? The ladies that said that you prefer equality over chivalry, your answers contradicted yourselves. And the fact that I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because Box. men, we it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. So even though you say we'll one thing, which is like a politically correct answer, because the media right now is ruled by the crazy Dems and they socially constructed your mind to believe nonsense sense but true deep down in your deepest part of your soul you don't want equality yeah a lot of women are feminists until they have to pull out their wallet or pull out a gun to fight a war how many feminists did it take to change a light bulb it's gorgeous. a trick question feminists can't change anything <laughs> friendly fire ask this guy quickly bro gg5 radio be crazy Hi. what the fuck is she wearing <laughs> I'm in the home of rich men now we're in mayfair Excuse me, are you guys rich and looking for a wife at all? I'm already married. I'm oh, married oh, can you have like another wife or? Four, four yeah, is the limit. Oh no, that's such a shame. You've got a very nice car though. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh my God, that's such a shame. He literally has a G-Wagon, my dream car. What's a girl got to do to get a G-Wagon around here? Is get a job. Yeah. Is that, does she have no shame? I feel like, I don't know. Like if I if I tell somebody hey and they don't answer me back, I already feel so stupid. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how can you do that and feel fine after? Jesus Christ! Not enough in life to have impregnated this woman right here about two years ago. What is my Unfortunate said? Unfortunate enough in life to have impregnated this woman right here about two years ago. 
I was paying child support after we split up. However, I noticed a really weird phenomenon that every time I pay the child support, that's when she'd go and get her hair done, her nails done, she'd go eating out at the Ivy, Hakusan, Nobu, all of that. That's so crazy. it was evident to me that my child support isn't going to my daughter, it's going to Chloe. So you have an issue because it's like every time the money drops, all of a sudden she's in Hakusan, all of a sudden she's getting her hair done and her nails done. Question, are your kids looked after? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, the case should really be closed. What the what? fuck? We all know a lot of women use child support money to spend it on themselves, but we can't keep blaming the system. You've got to blame yourself for impregnating the wrong women and allowing yourself to get trapped. You're a Muppet. Is this your type? Nah. That wasn't my type anyway, happens. though. Okay. What, what, what is she giving you, though? What type of vibe? Regular. He called. Can you give me another balloon? No, okay. What exactly is your type? Because oh. I'm certainly not regular. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, in my opinion, I'm, I'm great. They'll say I'm great. But what is your type? What do you call great? What do you mean what I call great? You said you're great. What do you call great? What's great I'm about intelligent. You? I'm super, I'm, I'm beautiful, in my opinion. Basic. I know what I want in life. Basic. Um, I'm a legal assistant. I have a great career. I have a lot going for myself. At the end of the day, I know what I want. And that's all you could want from a woman. At the end of the day, she knows what she wants. Way. You know that's what I'm saying? Okay. Can we go that's, to the next one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the boss. She's so intelligent and sure of herself. Why does she care so much about being rejected? And why is she participating in this show? And why the fuck has this donut got a dog hanging that's off what, his chest like a baby? Fuck. Why? <laughs> Why? It's so sexy Why? to me when he does masculine shit. When I see him working on the yard, when I see him fixing the house, yes, when I see him just like talking to a guy in a certain way and his like masculine tone comes out and, mm. and I just see him in real life or like he views someone in the store and he's like, ah, they're moving a little funny, get on this side of me. Mm -hmm. Like that shit is sexy. See, women want that and it's a primal thing yeah. it's it's a procreation yeah. thing you know we want to be whether women want to admit it or not we want to be soft we we, we want to be around a man that we don't got to embrace our masculinity right because that man will go and embrace his masculinity and equally so i feel like men also don't want to be masculine all the fucking time you know there's times where they want to come home and they want peace yes. and they want love and they want somebody that they could just be like their little self with this is your safe space True. and just recharge him for life i like this one True. she tried to play. yeah like sometimes you just want to you know come home and chill like you know, don't have to be all according to my girl she's like Ur, ur. she does whenever I, I do some masculine shit she's like ur. like I, I can be ur. I don't know what she's talking about but you know I don't want to just be like that all the time I want to just come sit back you know chill have some food uh, have a little drink drink you know what I'm saying and just chill out blackmailed this hockey legend by taking a photo in bed with him, but the problem was he just didn't care. Basically, in 2016, Yaromir Yager was one of the best hockey players in the world and in all of history. At the time, he was the leading scorer among all active NHL players, so when a model who had just turned 18 named Catherine got a chance to sleep with this 43-year-old star, she decided to secretly take this photo of the two of them to try to blackmail him. Catherine reached out to Yaromir and told him that if he didn't pay her $2,000, she would leak this photo to the press for the entire world to see. But to Catherine's surprise, Yaromir simply responded with, I don't care. So, in retaliation, she leaked the photo. But what's crazy is that although Yarmir was completely single at the time, Catherine actually had a boyfriend. And to make things That's even crazy. more embarrassing for her, Yarmir Yager was her boyfriend's idol. It's an evil world we live in. Catherine That's is cool. a disgrace. Hopefully the boyfriend moved on and he sent Catherine to the streets. And if I'm the hockey player, I'm giving the boyfriend free tickets for life. The yes, first sir. thing that I noticed when you came out, uh, I normally don't care about, so I don't know why I'm even saying it, but your uh, nails and toes aren't done. Mm. Uh, so, for some reason, that stood out to me this specifically specific time. Come on now, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. I play sports all the time. I don't. I don't got time for that type of yeah. stuff. So, your name and age? Uh, Braylon. I'm 37. Okay. And Braylon, why did you pop your balloon? Um, initially, I saw. I thought that she was beautiful, but it was too much weave. Um, toes hanging off the shoes for me. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I just kind of, hey, the toe was goodness. like she gripping the side of the shoe. <laughs> this man said, she, she, she's gripping, she's gripping her toes. 
I hit no, I hit it, bro. So it's not even trying to be, not even trying to be funny. It's just that's just what I saw. <laughs> Good Either these people are just trying to be it's funny and go thing. viral, or they're actually just lacking something in their brains, which explains why they're on their show and they're single. What's your biggest turn off in the female? I think for me, you can be as gorgeous, you can be as cute, pretty fine, whatever. If you disrespect me, we can't do it. Nowadays, Fox. disrespect is cool. Yeah, I want me to uh, pop your... That's weak. I don't want that. Cause then that's extra baggage I got to take to work. I come home after a long day, and I know you're probably going to scream at me because I didn't do X, Y, Z. Instead of, babe, you could just talk to me. Yeah. Just tell me. It ain't nothing. Just tell me. We ain't got to scream at each other. There's a way to tell me instead of, are oh, you this, you that. Tapping my dark places as a man. He's talking. And that's it. He's talking. Right, that's, he that's a good answer. So. This guy don't even seem like a donor, so I don't know why he's participating in this show. If you want to find a good, respectable woman, it's unlikely you're going to find her on a YouTube dating show. I shit, the married man has to go home. God, I mean, finish. wait, hold on. 50-50. Sometimes your friend has a YouTube show. He tells you he wants to come on and you know, just talk some shit and you end up falling in love. You, know, you never know. You never know. Do I doubt it? Yes, but you never know. It's a damn game. Nah, no, no. no, this guy. Sam! Your missus is not your mother. You're a grown-ass man. You don't go running home when she starts calling when you've already organized to be with your friends. Yeah, yeah, and if she don't get it? that, then she's not the one. I'm divorced. I thought I'd be happier, except... The judge set the child support amount at $326 a month. $326 a month for two kids for child support is what he has to pay me. $326 a month. <laughs> cool. Sensational. She thought she was going to get divorced and live off him for free and now she's going to have to get a job or another man that provides for her, which is unlikely because now she's a single mother of two. Congratulations, you played, you played yourself. yourself. One thing I would never understand, a female will tell you to leave her alone and when you leave him alone, they get mad at you and start yelling at you. Why are you yelling at me because I'm doing as you say? If you told me to leave you alone, I'm going to just leave you alone because why am I going to provoke you and make you more mad than you already are? I can never win in that certain situation. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, this kid gets... Young man speaking facts. He's coming, he's coming into, he's coming into the world. He's coming into, he's about to find out some shit. You know what I'm saying? Looks like he's already gone for some shit, but he's about to find out some more. Already, but someone needs to tell him to stop worrying about it and stop bothering with girls. He's too young. He's got to focus on himself. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Every alpha woman has the possibility the the alpha of woman? being submissive, but you need a guy that's you really need the right alpha. Guy, you yeah. need the right guy. You need the right guy. The more alpha the guy is, the more it's like, okay, I can, you know, I can trust you to be a man and I don't have to. Yeah, I, I can chill. When I'm around you, I can chill. Is that how you feel though? Yeah, because certain, like certain guys, you know, I could just take the piss with them. As I've said before, there's no such thing as alpha females. There's only the masculine ones that no one really wants to marry. That's what I was trying to tell you. Take the power out of it. I'm not worried about if my woman is cheating or not. So if you found out your woman cheated, but I would, I would, I would say there are there, there are some girls who can who can be just a bit more tough, you know, than regular. Because yeah, some girls, you know, out of hand, but some girls really like really been through some shit, you know, and they kind of have to walk around and be a a bit more masculine, you know. And sometimes they don't they don't want a guy like who's just gonna be a bitch basically. I'm not saying they they, they necessarily um they necessarily um like just like full on masculine and hate they're like I don't need a man, I don't need this. They don't, they, they, don't, they don't have to be that kind of woman. But some of them just need a a a, a real man, you know, not and not like basically what they call it toxic masculine, they need one of those. <laughs> And you're gonna stay with her if i love her i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna mind. figure it out first let's ask like what kind of cheating is it like is this somebody or do you, the first question should be are you in love with this person okay right because if you're in love with them i'm not fighting for that i'm dipping right right like you're yeah. in love with the person like right then let me allow y'all to you know be in love stay with in love so you'll right. walk away um well for me i'm dipping like i'm dipping Okay. I'm not staying if you're in love with somebody else. Right. That doesn't make sense I'm for either um, either fuck. sex, either side of the, you know, male or female. It just doesn't make Have sense. Have you ever taken someone back that walked away from you? Walked away from me or I walked away from, I've, I've, I've rewound the VCR a few times in my life. Yeah. Yeah, there's no working it out for me if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. Well, guys, 
yeah i agree i did to that last point but I'm, I'm out <laughs> i'm out i'm i'm tipping yeah but anyways guys that's it for this video if you guys want to see me react to anything else let me know and i'll be sure to give it a shot till then catch you guys in the next one peace out